Hey everyone, I'm sharing with you how to make another um, purse wallet. So that is four inches, everyone. Let's go ahead and make the template. I use the zero paper. You're gonna fold it in half. This is the center of the handle right here. The fold the paper. And I'm going to mark all the way down to here. Okay, and then I'm going to go down like that. And then I have the ruler, and I'm going to bring it all the way down. Turn the ruler until you see it round all the way, or use the place, and then you can see if the place the meet here, and then meet the line here, then go ahead and trace. Super easy, you don't need to go crazy in buying stuff. Now I have something like that to mark. One inch out, and an inch and a quarter out. This is the fold, okay? So we just want to make sure you know that this is the fold. Because the length of the, um, the paper is not enough for me to do the whole thing. So this is the template, everyone. So everyone, after I iron on the main, the back side of the main fabric, so I'm gonna go and cut around. So when I cut around, I'm gonna leave a quarter off and, and that's my seam allowance. So everyone, after I cut another one for the lining, you see the lining and the main fabric. So we're gonna fold it in half for both and we're going to sew. The main piece and the other one. I want to sew, let me just clip it here so you know. We're going to stop where the curve right here, everyone, right here. Let me get the pen so I can show you. So right here where we're going to stop sewing, you're going to follow the interfacing and then you're going to sew it all the way down. Okay? And for this one right here with the lining, you're going to sew Start from the curve here, same thing. You're going to sew it down, uh, and then you're going to leap about two inches here to inside out. So sew from the curve to here and, st and stop. Leave this open, sew it from here down. From on this side right here, sew all the way down. A quarter off and in seam allowance. That's exactly what we left on the main fabric. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to fold the the bottom here so you can box the bottom. You see this line right here? That's where you're going to fold it. Right here, you're going to fold it in. You're going to fold this in. Same thing to the line and piece. You do it exactly the same. That. And clip it down. You can do a quarter off and so everyone after I sew the bottom of the lining and the bottom of the main, I'm going to inside out the main one. See so you have an idea what it looked like. It's cute already. Okay, so this one right here, you're going to try 
your magic hand bring this and put it inside of this one so the lining the right the wrong side facing out and the right side it's in here put this inside to make sure everything line up it's very important everyone make sure everything is lined up right here together the lining and the main now the sole line touching the sole line for the lining and the main make sure you clip it down From here, you're going to sew all around. So a quarter up and then sew it here all the way down to here. Go out to here, go all the way to the other side and sew it down. You sew, you make sure you sew from the inside. So there is the um, the line, the interface in there. Follow that line and then sew all around. Okay, so let me do that. So everyone, after we sew on the top together like this, around the top, you don't need to cut or anything. Just do this because I need the thickness of this. Okay. So now we're going to reach your hand in here. So hold this back and pull this one out. On both sides. Okay, so I have the bottom of the main right here. And then the bottom of the lining is this way. So we go on to sew the bottom of the lining on the same side with the lining, I mean the bottom of the main together. So we're going to do this, clipping together. We're going to do one at a time, the two bottom together. You can just follow this, the line that you just sew, sew this line, and then when you're done, you go on to come over to this side and then sew this one on too. Okay, so when we're done, after I sew the two bottom together, this way when you take thing out, the lining don't come out. So now you go on to find the space that you left it open so you can inside out both of them. Opening space right here, I'm going to go and inside out the main and the lining together for both of them all the way out. The opening space right on the lining, remember, on the side. Okay, inside out, I want to make sure the line and side is facing out first so I can sew that space in everyone. So all the way to close the whole space right here. So after I sold it in, I'm gonna go in inside out this to the main one. And you have this like this, okay? One 
up this side with the holes holding right here it go on to face it out so you basically do this okay so you basically ta -da, like that and then make this go inside of this so one can go on each side you can see it like this okay in the back it's like this everyone for both of them okay but we're going to do one at a time you don't want to rush you can see that I mark it right there and I'm going to mark it right here too. So that where we go on to add the clue from that point on. I'm gonna just drip the, the clue in here. You can use fabric clue everyone. You don't need to use super glue. This help you to hold a fabric together and then you're going to sew it. And after it's going there, go ahead and get the Q-tip. And spread this out. Some people they don't need to sew this line in. Sometimes it be this side right here, everyone. This one I already put the clues on. So remember the other side, just leave it like that. We're going to make sure the top one it go into this frame. slowly pin it down you won't be able to pin pin but you know just poke it to hold like that okay hold it down for one side for you and then you go into the other side make sure you use the pin push the fabric into the frame you can see it's all inside you want to make sure this is the time I'm going to sew it. Follow the holes there and I'm going to sew. The needle underneath here because I don't want it to show my knock. Hide that. Going up to this hole, slide the needle. Going down, you can go down to the other side. Okay, go back to the same holes. Remember, this going to be the same for the other side. We're going to go. When you sew, you make sure you get your needle and push while you sewing it in. Okay, everyone. So do that. Now you're going to sew up and down, up and down, but follow the holes. Okay. So do that all the way to the other side, exact the same way. Look at this everyone. Look how cute this is. Put your wallet in here. This is a good side too. Put it in. You can, you can use many things in here. Super easy. You can put your whole hand in there and take thing out. You can use that for cosmetic. You can use this for everything you like. It's all up to you. Just after that, make the handle, everyone. I'm just showing you the basic thing right here. That's how you can use this frame. Next time I will show you how to make this at the crossbody or handbag. It right here. It's already half the thing right here. All you need to do just make the make the strap and it go over the shoulder. Look how pretty that is, everyone. I love this. The frame right here. Feel free to check in my description. I will share with you in there. Stay safe and take care, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please continue to support my channel by like, share, and subscribe. And also click on the notification bell. So every time I upload a video, I will share with you and you never miss that. Also, the um, number of people request me to do this and that. So it's um, sometimes I upload a video any other day. Sometimes if I have a lot of thing, uh, requests, I will upload whenever I finish. Stay safe everyone.